hand corner in the blue pants it is our hero Oscar and his enemy in the red pants don't know who he is but it's gonna be Ocelot super excited to be doing this casting it's been a very long time since I've done casting but is my favorite thing in the entire world our opponents starting off super solid with pylon first because who the fuck doesn't build pylons if you're not building probes and pylons you're not fucking following day nine's instructions starting off leading off with the gateway and it's even before his opponent what a fucking god literal god we're watching it is a grand total of 10 seconds faster get a fucking load of that shit super fucking tight not a lot of things are going to be going on. Oh, we're taking a gas early. Are we going to be doing some cheeky little shit? It seems that might be going on. We'll find out. Soon to come. The late GLHF, like a boss. He knows. And we're taking a second gas following up on 17. Oh, this is a little bit of an older repeat. It's on an older map. No, this is light shade. This is light shade. Cheesy casting. UL. Hell yeah. And our opponents, our our enemy is going for the classic double gateway wall off. I don't actually think this makes a wall, but who gives a fuck? Standard opener from our hero going for the cybernetics core. What else would you go for? Come on. Is he even getting his pylon on 21? Yeah, but it's a proxy. One pylon in the main base, our opponent has to be freaking out going, What the fuck is my, is this guy doing what? I don't understand. Oh, but he's seen the pylon. Has he seen the pylon? He, he, yes, yes, he's seen the pylon. And he's wondering, what are you doing? This doesn't make any sense. Why are you here? Get the fuck out of my lawn. Get off my lawn. Second, second offense. That's an offensive pylon. Let's be, let's be all on the same page that that is an offensive pylon. That was deliberate. Nothing crazy coming out of Husker. Just building probes happily and chilling. Making pylons on his opponent's side because where else would you build them? Shield battery going down. Maybe he's going to try some cheeky void ray shenanigans. Two zealots coming up for our evil hero, our anti-hero, as it were. And, oh, but there's a Stargate coming down. I think I had the senses. We're going directly into this Void Ray bullshit. And let's say, let's say it together, bullshit, because everyone gets mad at the people who do this. But you know what? He's our hero, so we're fucking happy that he's going and fucking him up. And he even has a zealot on this side of the map with the offensive shield battery in order to be able to save it big time. We're ready to rock and fucking roll. Heck yeah. Ch chopping away at those zealots should be an easy time dealing with that. The zealots can't even get through their shields and one of them is going to go down and the second one's going to go down as well. And that probe also going to die in the most horrible possible way. Void Ray on the way because what else do you build out of a proxy Stargate nowadays? Not oracles! Heart of the Swarm days are gone. We're not building oracles out of proxies anymore. We're building Void Rays because fuck you. That's why. And we're having... Our enemy, though, is setting up his defenses a little farther back, so that way he doesn't immediately lose them to the Void Ray. That's going to pop here any second now. There it is. And going to be getting a Twilight Council. Questionable choice on his part. Is he going to try to hide a Dark Shrine somewhere on the map? We don't know. We have no idea what's going to happen. Nothing else on this side of the map is happening for our hero. He's focused completely on this Void Ray. That Void Ray's got to do the maximum amount. But hey, you got to watch out for those Stalkers. You got to run away from the Stalkers. He's going to power up. Oh, but he doesn't want to fight two Stalkers. They'll probably be able to kill the Void Ray. If he can get it out of there quick enough. Oh, not quite to godlike power to getting to that shield battery in time. Another Void Ray on the way, plus one air attacks also on the way. We're excited. And Blink, actually the most reasonable of the choices that our opponent could be going for. Getting a couple gateways up, gateway research way long off because who's good? Not this guy. And, but he has the stalker production going on with three gateways, gonna be getting Blink and a, a uh, excuse me, a Stargate of his own and more batteries are going down for our cheese. This finest of cheese is the only thing we're doing. And the, 
the hidden nexus because hey if you're cheesing why not just do the crazy shit along with it fuck it you know super great gonna be getting one void out here but that's a lot of stalkers who knows what's gonna be going on with that many stalkers need to get more void rays out here in order to be able to deal with these before the voids are a solid enough threat to these stalkers to just make them melt but if he can keep the void ray within range of these shield batteries it should be okay so that way the void ray is getting its shields restored as the stalkers are curiously getting their faces lasered off super exciting plus one armor on the way because he doesn't always he actually has the fleet beacon so he can actually go for his air upgrades no and he's walled himself into his base he can't exactly transfer probes but if this nexus finishes and gets enough energy which it should right out the gate because all the nexus abilities are 50 energy that he'll be able to recall probes out of his base and put them over here which is hashtag sneaky moves and a tempest out of our out of our hero here thank you for coming and showing up we're very happy to have you here Oh man, super nice, super nice. We'll be definitely making a video after this, heck yeah. Oh, this is going into highlights, are you kidding? One one Void Ray versus another Void Ray, who wins? I don't know, but the Tempest is here, and he's mad. He's ready to rock and roll. He has a vision range of the same every air unit, but his range on everything else is about as long as my dick. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, look at how far this thing shoots. Like, we're, we're zoomed in normally, and it shoots across like, three quarters of a screen that's kind of silly by the way tempest another tempest on the way we're going to be shooting away with these tempests microing his little heart out in order to be able to kill but there are so many shield batteries on this side of the map how is he ever going to break this who knows but we're going to find out in this uh how fucking long is this 14 minute game tight tight what a god getting more stargates on his side of the map and a robotics facility because why not He hasn't even researched warp gate because who needs that he got a second cybernetics core i'm assuming for upgrades but you know what can you do he's now remembering that he has gotten this nexus here and he's going to be using these tempests to poke a little bit not getting any actual damage done because look at the forest of batteries that are on our opponent's side of the map it's just not super good for our hero hero needs to get out of there oh no the tempests are dying can't let the tempest die run 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 I actually did this to a to opponent of mine. Oh man, he gets a little bit of health damage on that one void ray, but nothing else after that. And this one tempest keeping the aggro, tons and tons of shields being regenerated for that one tempest, nearly dying at five HP. What a god! Oh man, tons of things going on. Not a lot of things going on. Lots of batteries. Our opponent expanding down to his what is a natural base. We're, you know what, we're fucking next level. We're going to a natural over here. Are there more probes building up? Nope, because we're having the Zealot kill the pylon. And a forge going down, because, yeah, we need to get shield upgrades too. No production out of this Stargate just yet, but soon to be. Oh, man. Dying down just a little bit here. We have the, we have the great, the great divide these trees shall be the divide between our sieges i shall siege your siege while you siege my siege and i'll siege you while i siege me that didn't make sense but we're going with it all right <laughs> another base going down in the top right corner for our for our protoss hero in the blue pants all the probes are going to be escaping from the main base. All the oversaturation is going to be transferring over to this base, taking these additional gases in order to be able to afford what? More tempests. We need more, more. Oh, but one tempest does go down. The good focus fire from, oh, excuse me, from the void rays, but the tempests have that incredible range, but tons and tons of shield batteries from our, from our enemy. And actually a decent amount of probe production for our hero here. He's actually ahead by 10 probes, which is super good. <laughs> super, super good. It's always really nice to be doing a really cheesy build and then somebody doesn't exactly know what to do afterwards. And we're building more Tempest. And smartly, he's actually building observers because he's very acutely identified. Uh, this, is, this is a platinum troll game, I'm pretty sure. I got this off of Reddit. It's fantastic. But he's very acutely been able to identify that his opponent does not have any detection and he can't see any of the high ground with his Tempest. But if he gets some observers over this, he just gets to sit there and pick away at these Tempests and put it in his booty. 
it's gonna be great super super great i love it i love it the extra clownness i can't get over that this is like the great divide of trees all of the trees between our batteries will not be able to hold the power in which the protoss have random void ray coming down here for an exploratory thing does not have a good time and gets killed by the extremely loud tempest the only thing louder than those tempests is my voice but pretty much at this point our enemy's units are practically invincible because he has almost 24 shield batteries has 17 currently only needs to build seven more in this area in order to have 24 and basically be able to build nothing else in his base it'll be fantastic <laughs> like it's so great oh i love it i love it third base being taken more probes being built 42 probes eh who needs more probes it's actually not our our hero is not actually building more he's just building on the tempest and focusing on microing these tempests using the observer in order to get that long range of the tempest at their maximum so he can sit there and pick away at all of these enemy buildings where is that observer they're so hard to see where's the observer I'm not actually certain where the observer is. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. He's sitting here shooting at them. It's probably over here somewhere. Oh, there's there. I know there's an observer. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Couple zealots coming on down from the bottom side. Going to be trying to take care of these batteries and try to deal with these tempests. The stalkers blinking forward in a little bit of a precarious situation are these stalkers. The tempests are holding strong. And the zealots are going to be cleaning up the stalkers on the high, on the low ground that blink down there. How they blinked across this, nobody knows. And now the tempests just get to sit here and blast away. Well, but these zealots are just going to town on all the ground, on all these ground structures. The probe died down here, so he's going to have to be moving another probe down here to repower this gateway and continue his carrier production. Because who doesn't need more carriers in their life? More more pylons being constructed over here by a probe coming from somewhere very far away. Here we go. Actually, three probes, in fact. And then we're going to be continuing that carrier production and proxying, proxying, proxying our hearts away. The Tempest continuing to be super annoying. We have Stalkers coming in here, just getting immediately rehealed by these shield batteries. But the, we're breaking through with the with these Tempests because it turns out that Tempests outrange pretty much everything and fly, so they can't even be hit by the only one thing that I think they're outranged by, which is Siege Tanks. Stalkers are coming down, down the ramp, going to be taking out this pylon and the shield battery, taking that offline. I think he's figured out that this many Tempests isn't exactly that scary to this many Stalkers. He's going to be trying to take it down, but he's not going to be doing anything. He's not actually A-moved right now. He's going to blink underneath, but he's A-moved on the Zealots that are down there, dragging all the way the aggro, but he's going to be focusing it down on the pylons and not focusing down the Tempest. I think that's a little bit of a mistake from our, from our enemy hero here, and he's getting all of his Stalkers are just dying. The carrier is standing strong. One pylon goes down no more carriers out of that particular stargate and the stalkers are just going to move on forward and find hey look there's a base here what are you doing here you're not supposed to be this far out right now we're taking our natural finally I'm getting a little couple probes moved on down here and the stalkers are just going to keep moving forward and shoot away at the gas geyser and meanwhile the tempest and the carriers are just like hey we're here we're home can i come in please and the stalkers are like hey man look this is our house you can't be coming and blowing it up but we want to live here. Nobody knows why this argument is going on, but it's between two people, one of which lives in the home, the other of which isn't exactly as welcome. Shield battery overcharge goes off, but three stalkers versus this many carriers and, a, and a several tempests, eh, not going to be having the greatest time ever. Stalkers over here still having a great time. However, the probes coming out, evil killer probes coming on out to over here to deal with these probes, or de deal with these probes, to deal with the stalkers. He's going to try to micro his heart out, but his whole base is dying, which is mostly shield batteries. He can only, he only has four gateways, five or six gateways. A couple cannons just finished up his upgrades. What are the upgrades now? 2-2 two, two versus plus one attack. Not a great day for our uh, enemy, he enemy hero here. And GG gets called by Ocelot. And Husker is going to win it with the trolliest of troll proxy void ray into Tempest builds. Absolutely fantastic. I love it amazing 10 out of 10 we'll re we'll watch again 
this is definitely going up on my YouTube channel because who doesn't want to say the Reddit Reddit Senate? It's the Reddit Senate. This is Reddit Senate number one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.